an NVIDIA card I bought from eBay has arrived and I've installed it into the computer that I featured in my last video so it's all installed in, I've, I've installed the drivers as well now this card is an NVIDIA Vantage it's based on TNT2 so it's old, AGP so let's start up the computer I can win for Windows 3.11. Now, for some reason, after installing the card, the um, Windows logo doesn't appear while it's loading, and I don't know why that is. But we'll just wait for it to come on. It's taken a while because I forgot to put in the Ethernet cable back in. I'll, I'll just put it in so hopefully that should sort it. Here we go, we still got that error. Log on to Windows. Now, as you can see, we've got a better resolution now. It's 800 by 600, and um, it's um, 16 million, 16 bit color instead of 16 color, how it was before. Um, I can actually change this as well. If I go to Control Panel, no, sorry, wrong one. If I go to Windows Settle. And you'll see it's got the video in. If I change system settings, I can change the resolution right here. I can go as high as 1024 by 768. So, I'm going to install the driver, restart with that, and we'll see what happens. Takes a few seconds because of the network. It is an old ISO network card, don't forget. On an 8 bit buzz, or 8 or 16 bit. Right, as you can see, we've now got a massive 1024 by 768 on Windows 3.11, which is quite cool. Log in. Oh, I've chose, it, it's because I've chosen the big fonts, you can choose it as a normal size font as well, but it's actually increased the size of the fonts. Um, now there is one problem, ever since I've done this, since I've got this graphics card, Internet Explorer seems to keep crashing. And if I try and I don't know, put in you will see that you can we can definitely tell see there we go. An error has occurred in your application. So I'm not sure what that's about, I'll have to look into that. Um Press close, so you can press ignore, you press close, it says iExplorer caused a general protection fault in module win16x.dll. Maybe Internet Explorer needs reinstalling. I've, I've tested the memory and tried other sticks of memory and, and I've used memtest x86 to test it as well and there's no problems with the RAM. So it's something I'll have to look into. Let's exit Windows. Because what I'm going to do now is install Windows 95 as well without deleting Windows 3.1. So now I can't remember. Right, so I've just exited out of that. Uh, as you can see, 
Windows 95, yes, a genuine copy, would you believe? Windows 95, it's a bit grubby, but it still works, I think. Let's try this out, shall we? I do apologise, I just knocked the tripod. Right, we change them to the D drive. Do a directory in color. Right, what I'm going to do is rename Windows. I'm going to rename Windows as Win 311. Okay, now I'm going to make another directory, Win Setup. Now, yeah, Win Setup. Oh, actually, it would be better Win 95 Set. That would probably be better. If I copy Win95, C Wins95 set, and that will copy the installation files to Windows95. This is a good idea because when you come to install Windows95, if it ever needs a driver from the Windows95, then it wants a disk. But if you install it from the hard drive, you will never need to put the disk in again. So it's very useful for driver installation and things like that, say if you're having to swap disks in the future. Because on Windows 95, quite often, if you had a driver CD, what come with, say, a graphics card, it would have the driver from the graphics card disk, and then it will ask for Windows 95's disk as well, so you have to keep swapping the disks. So that's going to install them. Right, 57 files for copy, so that's complete. You can now remove the disk if you wish to at this time. So if we go into the Win95 setup directory you just created, and then we type in setup slash is. Right. Skip the Microsoft scan disk, it makes it quicker. And here we are into the Windows 95 setup screen. Oh dear, your computer already has a operating system installed which cannot upgrade by this version of Windows. Okay, so. You just bear with me, I'm doing this on the fly as so I usual, like I always do. I'm just going to quickly look. I do apologise about this. I don't leave anything out on my videos, not even the problems that I come into. Okay, let's see if this workaround works. I've just found if we um, go into the back to the root of C, go back into the what did I call it now? Go back into there, rename win.com, win dot rename winver dot winver.com 
green bird on green a green bird on the Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Now we don't need to go back into the sea drive, just need to go into there. See if it works this time. Cake two. Prepare the 95 second with it. And success. So, who says we need upgrade CDs? So, um, that's quite a good useful way of installing Windows 95 if you've already got Windows 3.1. Checking the this for problems. Checking for available disk space. Oh, I'll be back with it then. Ah. So. Hmm, where's my CD case? Oh, this I have to turn it off because of protection. See if it finds them. Analyzing the computer now, please. This bit can take a while. It's useful for detecting plug and play legacy devices. Well, it wasn't legacy at the time. Plug and play devices. So we just wait for this to complete. In there. It's analyzing the computer. I've actually got a sound card in there, ISA Sound Blaster, and that um, LAN card ISA Ethernet, Freecom Ethernet 3, which I described in the last video, that we had Windows 3.1 working on the internet with. Analyze the computer. To big analyze. We'll get there. So there we go. So that's all done. We don't know if it's detected yet. I suppose if I chose the other option in the timer. So we're gonna I see the drums are playing there, so we're gonna prepare to copy files. We all remember the drums playing. And now, as you can see, we um, are presented with some things. Windows 95 is the easiest Windows yet. Oh, that was too quick, I couldn't read it. Windows 95 ugh, is going quick because the processor's a little fast. 300 megahertz is pretty fast, considering this was made in the 486 days. Apparently this operating system does run on a 386 computer as well, as long as you've got enough RAM. Well, I've never tried it on a 386 before. I'd love to, but I don't have a 386 basically, at the moment. I do have one actually, but it hasn't got enough hard drive space and it's an old, rare, 
DSDI hard drive, which you can't get very cheap from anywhere, not even eBay. Um, it's a shame it didn't have um, IDE, but it, it's IBM, the creatives is in there. It's be awkward. It doesn't even got ISA slots. Oh, it's installed in the Microsoft Network. It, well, it's not installing it, it's just showing you about it. MSN. <laughs> The old, the early days of MSN, eh? Who would have thought? So it's installed in nicely. I'm nearly done there. Don't just wish, wish Windows 7 was this quick at installing. One time it took about four, three minutes to get this far. I know it hasn't finished yet, it's got to do the reboots and stuff. So, let's press yes on now. So it's good saying that they're older than the file already on the computer, because there must be something to do with Windows 3.1 or DOS. Right, so here goes the first reboot. I will try that. Just in the run three times. You can press escape for that bit or something. Testing. It's a crap test now, I'll tell you it doesn't detect any problems even if the run is faulty. So here we are. I think I might have messed up the auto XCC dot bat a bit, but it's getting ready to run. Windows 95 for the first time with the flashing <laughs> the flashing Windows logo. Whoa! You got a picture of like a keyboard and CD and stuff. I just have it on there. Tell me the password. Not too fussed about that at the moment. So when they're setting up hardware and any plug and play devices you may have, that's what it says on the screen. Nice installation of Windows 95. It is possible to actually run Windows 95 on the quad core, but you have to get a patch because it, you'll get a Windows protection error if you don't get the patch because it doesn't support efficient without the patch. The process is over, but I think it's about 400, 600 MH servers. I might be wrong. But you only, if you want to install it on a quad core, you must be crazy. Because it's lightning in fact. But it won't work without a patch. It'll just give you a protection error. Patch is available on the internet, of course. We don't want a printer. And that printer's hooked up to this beast. Rebooting for the third time now on the Windows 95 install. We didn't have the memory test out that time. So here we go. What fun. Here we are, Windows 95 and Microsoft Internet Explorer. How cool is that? Start it. Okay, it's found some new hardware pattern, plug and play monitor. The job with your monitors are plug and play, that's for sure. There we go, Windows 95 has successfully installed. There, there's a bit of work to do by the looks of things. Alright, let's have a look in the um, control panel. Wow, it's very, there's a lot less things than these on Windows 7. Ah. Oh, brilliant, it's found the network cards without needing drivers. It hasn't found the, um, the got question mark by it. Oh, that's strange, it says it's got question mark by it. It's still not said it's working properly, that's strange. Just installed the game for that, quite interesting. 
Android, PCI bridge, and USB. Um, this must be the, the USB version of Windows Mobile Phone. So I presume the sound card isn't working. No, I have had a few problems with the sound card. I need to investigate further on that one. So, let's try the internet, shall we? Ah, good. Hmm, yeah. that's interesting. Let's try another address. No, we got no internet access. Um, let's check the network settings. Ah, we need a TCP ICP stack. Yeah. I didn't realise you had to add it manually on Windows 95. So actually it doesn't need a disk because I did that earlier, that tra setting transfer. I need to restart the computer, so let's go ahead and do that. Very long winded isn't it, this video? Uh, sometimes Windows 95 used to have a problem where you can have some money in there. You have to manually do it sometimes. Windows 98 is probably from that bit as well. I'll try it out again. Booting up. Let's give them a moment there. Let's get this thing loaded. Lo and behold, we have internet. Have to watch out for all scriptures. If we can get Google up. What the heck? That's Google. It can look better than that on Windows 3.1. I think this internet explorer is just far too old. A lot of screw towers. Try and find. Oh, 
version of Internet with this. It's version 3, no wonder it's so bad. This is what Google looks like on Internet Explorer version 3. No, sorry, Yahoo looks like on Internet version 3. I'm trying to go down, things we will do anything. Nvidia.com. Too much scripters. All the video drivers. Trying in but because of the changes in HTML it's completely well, messed up. I've got an idea, just to make it quicker, minimise that, we'll go to the control panel, system, device manager, display adapters, driver, update driver, no I don't. the windows not the fire drive or I had before to what happened. No, it's no good if it's not work. Anyway that's the end of the video. Hope it wasn't too boring for you. Goodbye.